seen her play. Um, her um, drive and her um, will on the court is something that is just unmatched. I mean, that's why if you look up and down her resume, we'll see, you know, team captain of almost every team that she's been on, um, high finishes at junior national qualifiers and tournaments and all tournament teams and, you know, the high school games, she's all SBC, she's all tournament. I mean, the list goes on and on and obviously that would not the case. We would not be here with her signing a Division One and a lot to school in Pac-12. So um, I feel like all of that kind of goes um, without needing to be mentioned if you've ever seen Margot play. Unfortunately, as you guys know, um, she did deal with a pretty serious injury um, about a year ago, so she has not been able to play the volleyball side of that. And um, that's kind of more what I want to talk about, like the outside of volleyball Margot. She is just such a spectacular person and um, Margo, I want you to never forget that you are so much more than all of your accomplishments on the volleyball court. To see like your poise and your grace before the injury, when you're going through the recruiting process, and then um, you have your you know little things here, your back, your hamstring, whatever, and how you still show up every day for the people around you, um, I think speaks volumes to you. And uh, you have dealt with a lot of hardships that I know have not always seemed fair, um, but I think that that's only going to help you at the next level. Um, because the next four to five or how many years you're playing volleyball, it's not always going to be easy. There's going to be days when you know you may not want to be there, when you're feeling really, really far away from home, when you know all of these other factors um, can generate maybe like how you're feeling. But I just don't want you to forget all that you are like outside of volleyball and all that you've overcome. That like your smile and your goofy personality and your presence um, on and off the court is so much more than um, I think you can give yourself credit for. And so just to watch you, um, I've known you since obviously before you were in high school, but watch your growth volleyball wise and just return to the young lady that you are. I am so 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 proud and um, absolutely just that I've got to be a part of this journey with you. So um, I'm super excited for your next steps. And uh, Washington, although I've never been there, has a new fan for life as long as you're there. So I guess uh, go dogs or something. I think that's what they said. So um, yeah, I love you times a million. And I am just so, 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 so proud of you and everything that you've done. So thank you.
Shelby, you always make me laugh and push me to be a better player, especially when I'm a defender. So thanks for that. Um, thank you to all of my teachers who I know prepared me for college and completely changed the type of student that I am. Ms. Johnson West, Dr. Castillo, Ms. Rucker made classes fun and interesting, but were also there for me as a person, supporting me and letting me rant about the randomest things. I want to give a special shout out to Dr. Stapleton, who believes in me often more than I believe in myself. And next, I want to thank my coaches and mentors at Skyline. Coach Jen was my rock during my recruiting process and is truly a second mother to me. She would always get to my calls at 10 o'clock after putting her three kids to sleep, talk to me for over an hour, even if it was the simplest question. She would take the time to counsel me through my tough decision and never make me feel like I was imposing, even if I was. I love you so much, Jen. Next to Jamie and Kim, who have completely redefined volleyball for me and have been my third set of parents. I know I could always text either of y'all in 10 years, and both of you would gladly just talk about life. A huge thank you to Steve, who has been my weight trainer since I was in seventh grade. You've always had my best interest in mind, shaping me to be a better athlete and changing my perspective of volleyball. You understand that even weight training is competitive, but still make it something that I look forward to. I'll miss our lighthearted conversation, whether it's debates about country music or agreement that arugula is a sad excuse for lettuce. <laughs> I want to give my biggest thank you to the one and only Clyde Stubb. I truly would not be here without you. I know the only reason you took me in was because I was Noah's little sister. <laughs> From the first time I set foot in the training room, in preseason of my freshman year, I knew it would become my second home. I, I know you miss my singing and my atrocious attempts at a British accent. You have been there for me not only as an athlete, but with my life problems too. I'm so lucky to have you in my life and thank you for putting up with my craziness. I know it's not easy. Lastly, my parents in Nova. Thank you to my mom for introducing me to volleyball and letting me crash Nova's practices at six years old. Thank you to my dad for fulfilling every one of my volleyball games and being my biggest fan always. Even after mom justifiably sent you to sit in the corner by yourself. <laughs> and thank you to Nova for playing volleyball. I started playing so I could be more like my older sister and look where that got And obviously, thank you to all my friends who are my biggest support system and biggest cheerleaders. I want to say thing, a little bit about being a volleyball in my year. I'll tell you exactly what I told them. I wanted to go to a school and play volleyball with girls that would be more than just my teammates. But going through the recruiting process, the highest thing on my priority list was a family atmosphere. When I went on my visit to UW, I felt so supported not only as an athlete, but as a human too. I know that I'm going to have amazing training from all of the coaches, and that every day when I go to the gym, everyone is going to want, going to, want to get better. I'm ready to win a few more Pac-12 titles in Go Dogs.
just remember this. I can't tie it. Just remember this. Okay. I hope you don't fall.